Both teams have picked themselves up their map pick, which leads us to our third and deciding map to find out whether it will be the Rio Major Champions, Invertus Pro, at least four of them, or will it be Eternal Fire that lock themselves into the top eight of the Copenhagen Major, the first major in the new engine of Counter-Strike. And make history for Turkish Counter-Strike. There will be, uh, I think, a public holiday over there in Istanbul if they're able to do it. And we head into Inferno. This is where the campaign started for Virtus Pro in the elimination stage with a loss to Imperial, but they followed through with a victory against Pain on this very map. And for Eternal Fire, Alex, we covered off their victory over Vitality and just how much that meant to Madja being fired up on day number one. We find ourselves here on day number three of the elimination stage. Just one more day of play. Yeah, Vitality and Phase victories for Eternal Fire. Big names. That's big names, and it's been good Counter-Strike from Eternal Fire. VP had their number on map one. Vertigo slipping away from some hero plays from the man you just heard interviewed there by James Banks, Madja. And now Woxic to be tested. Mir's already hit a one bang. Woxic responds in kind onto Norbert. On the his pressure own. wrapping around. They do need to get the cavalry over here. Ligety split. Oh, we had a chance. Flit finds the head, and now the bomb can go down uncontested. It's three of them rotating through, smoked off. This already looks fantastic for Virtus Pro to start off with the pistol. Well, how do you piece this together? Madja has a flash. If we have Zantara's and Kalix come around the short side and a flash perfectly placed from Madja for them to be able to contest towards Pit and Sight, there is a chance, but they need to get a move on. There's a flash above the A-side players. They are doing the dance, but Pit still has vision. Nice find from Zantara. There's no cover on to Flit. They run into the side. The Jorvarettas don't find anything. It's a fame double. And Virtus Pro's pistol. Tidy one to pick up. It's such a difficult site to break. The crossfire is the same with the B site. If you have a number advantage and, and just enough time to be able to set up, there's so many different ways that you're able to completely remove the possibility of the retake. That's the mere opener. Woxic with one, he definitely stuck to his guns, but he's under so much pressure. If he was able to grab a second on the P2K, maybe, just maybe, a chance for Eternal Fire to break back in, but that was asking too much, as it is a force. Interesting, Inferno specifically tends to encourage CTs to make this work. They're going for a run through. Oh! I do like the scout pickup. A couple of tags, that's all Woxic needs to look for. It doesn't even need to find anything lethal. You get a few tags, even one might be enough to force VP into an awkward situation, but Flit marauding up top banana early within the round, aware that the U2 will not be there to hold him at bay. So applying a lot of pressure towards the B bomb site, but as we take a look at the radar top left of our screen, we can see the bomb is still down towards T stairs. Virtus Pro are not in a rush. One of the things that you'll see from VP, and that's when we swap sides, is either James Presience or his... Uh, Gambles. I'm not sure which it is, but either way, the stacks they do on the CT side, it feels like he knows something we don't. Spotted out, Zantara's on first orange, gets out. Flip, lives on. Still no commitment here from Virtus Pro, but they're happy to probe. It's Flip. I'm going to relay that information as to how many bodies he's seen. Might just flash. It's going to be huge. He's been holding onto it for a while. Oh, oh, Zantares, he's been spotted out, run down, Norbert, Mir, James, every member of VP connects in unison and the force by falters. Damn, the flash looked effective, at least from the POV that we were able to capture, but standing tall, denying the stack, 2-0. Remember, uh, we need to go back to overpass. I thought you might say that. Well, Eternal Fire were never able to save guns, whether it be lighter purchases, full gun rounds, they were always hunted. And with the bomb over the halfway mark of being gone, Flip has already sprung into action. It isn't going to be an easy fight with a UMP towards Pit. And now Woxic is known. That's so scary. It's like the big bad villain. Well, the AK is going to take the fight. Yeah. Better well, gun for the job. Got the info. James seen enough, thank you. But Mir, on the other well, hand. Well, they swapped into Flip's hands. Look at this. Oh, another tag. But Woxic desperately <laughs> trying to hold on to his scow. And now they've got to find Kalix as well. And Clean. Yeah, dude. This is what we're saying about VP is when they are in the lead, they will do everything within their power to punish. They will make it as hard for you to get back into the game. They will punish over investments and missteps. James Laundry Service, everything comes back spotless. 
For real. Oh, it's just the fact that when you're walk sick and you get that one little jiggle, you're like, oh no. Oh, but how dear. annoying is that? James goes, gets a tag, drops it to Flick. Flick goes, cops a tag. He's like, well, it's all right. I'm fame and I'm here and let me take a shot at this. <gasps> oh, it's so cruel. Flick. Oh, that's, yeah. Well, the cruelty continues. They jump spotted him, flashed him. And premature Zeus. The premature Zeusing. The recharge time actually pretty damn quick. Yeah, yeah, I'm impressed. Mm. I think they call it the refractory period for the Zeus. Ah. And the French call it the little death. Well, as we learned from Madra in that interview, he gets to play Counter-Strike from France, so a lower ping for him when they play online. Not the case for his teammates. I think that's one of the things with CS2. If you're playing on low ping, mm. like, it feels amazing. Doesn't it? Like five ping CS2. Oh. Like Homer Simpson looking CS2. at it. Looking at it. Well, 80 ping Counter Strike in general. In 1.6, it was miserable. In CSGO, I feel like it was somewhat mitigated. In CS2, it feels harsh. Tough. And this is going to be tough for Eternal Fire. First gun rounds, the util that they're looking for to get the map control. Diffuse kit, I don't see one. So if they lose the site and they don't have favorable trades, it might just have to be another save scenario, but we know how that goes. Yeah, I think this map really lends itself, as does Overpass, to the versus pro philosophy. Mm. We know how uncommon retakes are on Inferno, so that hunting nature when VP have the victory will make things very scary for Eternal Fire. There's nope. a gap here, Alex. Opportunities, yeah, and it's a massive gap. How has no one considered the potential for apps? They're playing for mid control and banana control, so pit's about to be given up. Uh, yeah, and it's Kalix who's got to worry about a lot here. They're into pit. Oh, confirmation of the presence. That's huge from Wicardia. And now Molly from Kalix limits the options of Norbert. Jame, however, comes out of the boiler, swinging. And it's a hit onto Kalix. One HP, he gets away from the dink of Woxic. Bombs into the site. Damn. This is a crazy looking round. They still have one player second mid, one player boiler slash halls, and two in the site. Oh! Yep, that's it. Uh, Remember, no kid, I highlighted at the start of the round. Yeah, I don't even know if you give us a go. I suppose you, you let Centaurus have a little look, but now we've got to kind of set ourselves up for the hunt, right? As in, how, how do we keep our weapons? Is there going to be anything from VP, or are they just going to be happy with their fourth round of four and zero, winning the first gun round on top of your pistol? Well, that was the biggest hole in Eternal Fire's defense. And they just walked straight through it. I wonder if there's research involved, or if that's just a little bit of uh, a lady luck. A loss bonus facilitates another Eternal Fire buy alongside of the four saved rifles. You can see the cash injection left-hand side of your screen, and the player with the most will be Wakadia. I expect him to be hooking Kalix up with a silenced M4 and getting what utility can around it. Okay, well, it's a bleak outlook for the opening. Now, do you operate with the same, right? Do you go for a similar scenario of going for banana control with three? You uh, just go for the mid lockdown with two players over towards A again. You don't have a Woxic AWP to lock down some of these sight lines. For VP, they don't need an AWP either. Five AK-47s into the next. Flit can go for more of that banana space. Did a good job in the previous. It's a CT smoke. It's the furious smoke. Yeah, it enables Centaurus to go for an early look. Flit throws out a smoke of his own design. Scary smoke to be behind if you're Centaurus. You can see how sketched out he is. Have they pushed towards logs? Are they over towards broom? But now for the A players, they've got their own threat. Smoke towards long. Ninja. He could be in trouble here. Yeah, spotted out. Jiggle could be hunted down. Flip. Yeah, tried to brave the flame. Thought twice about it. So resetting and Zentara's this rotation. He's going to be going back and forth. But that's what you want to do to a player like Zentara's. Keep him moving. You don't want him to allow just to sit and deliver. Because that's what he does best. I see utility sailing out of the hands of Mir now towards the uh, long side again. Woxic, I like the player ahead. If Thought he had it. done it, yeah, he'd have had the info. He'd have even cheated Woxic over towards the uh, the B site. Zantaros can try and block with the molly. There it is. And he 
flash him in it, that's going to slow him down for a couple more seconds. But the pressure's on with 25 Wokzik seconds. Wokzik has a flash. The rotation's coming through. Wokzik, that needs to be one hell of a flash. They're doing the dance. Huge work from Zatares. A triple to get Eternal Fire on the board. Could finish it off here. Fame just for the plant. Could run him down. Not going to risk it. Playing for the retake. 3v1. Molly forces him wide and it will collect eternal fire. Successful. It took him five rounds to get going, but now we are cooking. That flash changed the dialogue completely and you need a player like Zantares in order to profit from it. Let's see that one again, because this was glorious. Oh, you couldn't ask for more. Perfect from Woxic. That's exactly what you want from your rotating player in. In fact, he held on to the flash, the delay from Zantares with his U2, he gets to profit. But that's a nice team-based round of Counter-Strike there. Uh, one that's going to make you feel good. Favor on the microphone right now for Eternal Fire. He's called a tactical timeout off of the round win. I like the fact that they didn't try and force the issue individually. Played it as a team. Sure, they gave over the plant. Does mean that there will be another buy out of the Virtus Pro camp. But talking about how they want to open this next round of play. You can completely understand Woxic not trying to deny the plant in the sense that he, there was enough time for him to have faked it, made it a 1v2, and the other two were so far away, it could have felt, uh, yeah, you, you'd given it over. I just think it's important as well to keep all three of them alive. I understand uh, yeah. that there's at one point that they still could have gone down, but at least if you're playing together, you slightly mitigate that risk. Now, both sides of the server have been able to bring out an AWP. One for Woxic, one for Jane. Their primary weapons. Their roles within the team, and Woxit will be starting over towards the B bomb site with his. Imagine the point man on the banana control. This time, no car smoke to facilitate a fight, but a flash at the ready. James said he split up for success. Yeah, the manager was not blind. He's managed it very well. He finds the opening duel and removes the most aggressive piece from Virtus Pro. It's a nice way to start this round. The top mid smoke. That tells you, if you're VP, that they are very worried about that A site. They're trying to block and stall us out while they get this banana control. Now the rotation point of Madra and Zantara is freed up. Woxic can post up with the AWP. Now it's not the deepest of sight lines. He does love to be somewhat worried. He can very simply be flashed off the line by fame. Oof. The tag. Fame down to 18. It's info. A lot of damage for Fame to contend with. Sandieri forces Norbert towards the brackets. Santares in the right place once again. Nade for Santares. Oh, hang on. Norbert exposed. He gets it. That's awkward. They've lost their star now. Madja. You'll find Norbert just pushing through the smoke. It was a bit of a misstep there from Norbert. They've conceded the what was an equilibrium of four on four. Good flash. Good frag. Magic makes save. The VP boys head back to spawn. Yeah, we'll be saying a lot of that. <laughs> Triple kill from Magic. That's an impactful round and felt necessary considering the way in which Zantara's went down. That's always the, uh, the possibility when you're clearing smokes. I think the thing with the clearing of the smokes as well is not every team is going to throw like their long smoke in the same way. So even if you have a setup that's like, okay, yeah, this is to clear. What if it dribbles a little bit in a yeah. different, and it's not a completely perfect clear? So that's a whole nother layer of detail. And, and I would argue there is, yeah, there's a skill to it. I've seen, yeah, from my own terrible experiences, you know, how often you kind of try and underhand it, you fumble it, and you end up not having nothing. There's just a little tiny bit of wall of smoke still obscuring your view. What's well, the newest art form? Yeah, uh, as far as utility is concerned, right? And, and whoever. I don't want to say refines at first. It's it's about, well, like many things in Counter-Strike, right place, right time, and then right execution. Deep mid-smoke. Mid -smoke. Three towards Banana again. Woxic's AWP starting in apps this time. So just keep track of Woxic and where he's searching out for opening picks. Has the support of Kallax in the boiler. So if he hears anybody jumping up, can help delay so Woxic can get away. But in no rush, a VP. They saved two guns, they've fought back in. Two round difference at the moment as map control being vied for. You need to be careful, EF. You don't want both of you unloading into the smoke at the same time. It's one way to get punished. 
Hacho jump spamming with the AK. All the smoke has faded towards bottom of Banana. He has one more. Doesn't want to use it deep. So using it to block and he will need to whip it out of his hands in a moment's time. Under the pressure, under the pump as Banana Control taken away. Long smoke from Norbert was considered. Fixed Bomb twice. still down T stairs. Yeah, they're in no hurry. I feel like you need some space. This is a good way to go about it. To miss Molly. Heard it, heard it, heard it. Yeah, Bacardi's just been given a lot of information. And with Norbert down to Calix as well, they have a good idea as to where two of them were. Now one. Oh, Calix, he's forcing the issue. Calix jumps across. Now they know Mir's watching him. Information flows. And it's too Crazy easy for push. James. What are you doing? Calix charges in. Santara's on to flip. Fane takes one away. It's Ricardia comfortable. The smoke still obscures Wox's contributions. It has to be Madger again. It has to be Madger again. Jane caught off. Fame will get the bomb down. A 1v3 on B. Been here before. Yeah, and the same result. Woxic will close. One round game now. The CT is eternal fire. They're putting up a fight. I didn't hate it from Calix in the sense they knew a player was over towards second mid, but as soon as he got spotted, it's like, are you really going to just challenge Banana? They know you're coming. Yeah, I know. I, I can understand that. Like, it's certainly justifiable. But at that point, you know, let let them try and find Mir. Let, let the pressure be applied. Let them be com committed with all the info that the rest are be. Instead, it will kind of opened up the door for a potential slip. Still, great conversion. Eternal fire. Three. And it's all consecutive. But still money for VP to buy. The bomb goes down again. The loss burn is starting to build and a tactical timeout to discuss their options with what they're able to bring forth. You can see 4.1 remaining for that of Mir and 4.3 for Fame. So those two can get into AKs. It's just about what type of util do they need to operate with. And if it's a lot, maybe they have to fill that void with Galils instead. But this is a resurgence from the Turkish side. It's good to see them. Oof. I don't know, that doesn't look like a happy looking Jane, but I, I could never really tell. It looks the same either way. But that's just focus in my book. Making sure the call is made, everyone's on the same page, we go again. Well, now having their uh, map control discussions, who's with who, what util is going to be thrown. Spawn smug lined up. Yeah, you can see a Galil for fame instead of an AK, so definitely requires more nades for how they want to approach this one. Happy to see this being utilized by more teams. It's... It does open up some avenues for the CTs. Prevents you feeling so boxed in by a good default spread. Flit, he's given it a good go. Anti-flash and thinks twice after the molly lands. Interesting layering of utility, right? So you see the deep molly from the T's. That forces the CTs into a choice. Do we stay behind it or do we fight car? Because if we fight car and they spam, we die. We smoke deep, they smoke in front of logs, which then gives us a buffer zone for logs and broom. That's very scary for the CTs because if they play forward, flash over, you're in the open. This Neither is... team have won this one out. Yeah, it's Madge's plan so far has been to try and smoke them off at half wall instead of giving them top banana. And it's been working well for him. So far, he's, he's yet to be punished. And his fallback to retrieve the next smoke is already and, and that enables him to just buy time. And VP need this. They need this space. So they're going to have to push the smoke. You can see James calling for it. Flick prepares himself. Centaurus is going to rotate in time. Great how, observing. How has so much time gone down already? We're at the 40 second mark. Really, honestly, I think Magus, Magus smoke usage right now is, is getting under VP's skin. Now they want to test Woxic, but he's here. This, is, this would have to be dry. And yeah, too comfortable. Too good. A nade as well for good measure. Fame ahead of it. James swallows it. Fame, however, oh, oh, he's found them both down in the flame, pushing the molly. Oh. It's a double kill thanks to the orb tag. Calix from the grave burns too. Flit, what have you got for us with 12 seconds? He's managed to isolate the first, taking down Zantares and making this clutch look like a possibility. Woxic Sorp was fired off a shot. He knows he was long side and nails the shot. Woxic the closer. Calix the incendiary to save them from losing the A site. I can't believe, like, so I understand James, like, well, if I die, at least I'm tossing this in the right direction. And the bomb went down again, so uh, another buy is available with a few emissions once more. But, damn, I walks it hitting some tidy shots, right? Just doing what he has to. It's nothing flashy. It's nothing crazy. 
but it's what you want to see. Just look at that. The Firewalk has thrown the bomb, at least towards the truck. That gave Flit the chance to plant. They haven't gone all in. It'll be one AK with some Tech Nines. Maybe this has some pace, and if not, surely it's going to be a bit more execute heavy if VP can establish the map control that they're looking for. Yeah, they want to go B. They're fed up of this from Madja. Oh! Yeah, that's a fumble. Is Madja going to get away with this again? He's kept them completely locked out of any sort of early banana control. Like, he's done his job and then some. Now, looking towards A with a smoke towards library. Well, Dick tracks the jump of fame, comfortable with it. Kalik says, hold on to your HE. Wrapping. Wrapping indeed. What's Dick? Oh, he's been run down. Covered by Wicardia, but a three on three emerges. It's Kalix to catch Flit towards long. And backing away, James smokes off the pit player. Forcing a, trying to force a reaction once Wicardia, ooh, slips around the smoke. I don't know where one is. Yeah. The bomb's, the bomb's hitting back B. B. It's wide open though. James sold this. Mir has a smoke for CT. He Imagine. should be able to get the bomb down. Yeah, he should be. And then this round gets crazy. He's hearing him. James joined the party. Oh, Badger, if he pushes Alex. Oh, he was so close. Not to know. And still so worried about the arch slip. But James on the side. If the P can pull this one off, this is and inspired. They can do. They have tech nines near construction. Great flash, Mir. He's been spotted. And James oh. going to be isolated. They'll use Calix. Surely that low HP player to pull the crosshair away. But if James swings first. Perfect. Perfect. Madja, however, onto Mir. James doesn't have the HP for this. It's Madja on the USB. He holds his nerve. Miraculous that they get the bomb down. They have a threatening round, considering how it started. Eternal fire, a must convert. Five to four. Now, Madra is one of these in-game leaders who can definitely find his impact within games, but this is inspired. This is some of the best Counter-Strike I've seen him play in years. I mentioned it the other day when we were casting him off. He used to be part of a roster called Millennium back in 1.6, uh, alongside of Sixer. I think a lot of people should be familiar with Sixer. And those two used to, yeah, really be able to throw hands. They weren't in the best 1.6 team by any means, but it was definitely somebody when I was, uh, you know, watching at three o'clock in the morning in Australia back in the day going, yeah, these guys, they play. They were seen as a talent. Yeah, for sure. Well, they James, the lead, Alex. He, yeah, James going for like first-hand information now. He wants to understand why we're not getting banana. But yeah, Zantara, he's been heard. Thinks twice. Backs away. Imagine looking for some util. Where's the cache of grenades? It's Wicardia with the delivery. Thank you very much for your kind donation. No smoke, though. Okay. Well, that's a change. But maybe a necessary one. Fame also coming back to pick up whatever remains. Modern day Counter-Strike. Both teams heading back to spawn. <laughs> now people are asking, when can you drop the fuse kits? Come on now. That smoke, has it left a gap for the Arch player? It has. That is not just a gap, that is a void. And if I'm Wakadia, that's one reason to start rotating. All five members of VP and Banana. A flash to slow them. A can molly to really stall. This again? Can they really lock down this B-site again? Flit has slipped through to Paul. Majo, off you got for us. Wicardi's been boosted up. They know where he is. An airstrike hits him. It's big from Nor, but clearing the smoke is good for one. They're planting safe towards oranges. The spam's not going to connect, and VP now set for success to collect a fifth. Can you go for this, though? I don't think you can. Zantaris doesn't have the money. They really should be considering the save. This is the problem. You get your finances broken now. VP can win the half. Yeah, it's not in your best interest. Molly towards James' position and Nate on top. That should seal the deal to at least make it... Oh, no. Damn. What a lovely maneuver. Goes up. Still goes down, but now Calix is gone. Wicardia, you're so committed. You're on coffins. Woxix hit another. That's going to incite him to have another look. Fame's going to hit it on the descent, and now Get out it's of just there. the orb trying to retreat. Hits the shot, gets away. Ooh, what does this mean for Eternal Fire's chances into the next? I think Woxic will be able to d drop one, but there's a few players who are touch and go. It's Calyx, not too bad. It's not too bad. Yeah, Calyx is 3.8, so we can go M4, and if Woxic drops one, then it, it should be all good in the hood. But one of the keys that you've been highlighting is the utility usage. They won't have everything, True. right? They're, unless Calyx decides to operate with an SMG, which he can do with his anchor positions. Saw the smoke, how it's plumed so high. The boost was unable to see anything until the clear. 
And that molly from Zantaris, it was too shallow. Yeah. The, the CT smoke that was thrown out, it extinguished it. Time out. Coach on the mic. Yeah, I mean, this is the, the, these last two rounds are huge and, and the ramifications as well. You know, a 7-5 half and a 6-6. Six, six, big difference in that when you throw a pistol on the into the mix. So uh, that 30 seconds just to kind of uh, ensure the plan stays the same. Well, if they're going to go for such heavy banana control again, do you want to try something aggressive, window room and mid? Like They've been doing this deeper mid smoke. Do you actually want to use it? Then you can isolate the second mid anchor. Then if there's so many players over towards banana, you stall them out, you box them in, and you cause them to have to reset within the round. I can see Woxic lining it up. That's a good question. Because it hasn't been used. No, you've kind of conditioned that it's just been there and no one uses it. Ah, if you're only starting 2A, I yeah, doubt it. Okay. Banana. Oh, Wax is gonna take a pick. He's gonna take a pick. Yeah, I think they hate the smoke, right? So Calix okay. nated the smoke. Wax took a pick down mid. Didn't find anything. Got the retake set lined up by Santares. He's hearing them now. So there's the util set drop. That will regain control of top banana. Attempted wall bang. Yeah, you don't want to spam back. No. Keep your element of surprise. Nice Silent. Mobile, but very nice. Oh, James looking for a B execute finish. He has everything he needs and more. They've got plenty of smokes, mollies, I've just got another smoke, dude. It's 40 seconds. It's going to be 20 by the time that smoke's gone. This is a big push from Wakadia. He's hearing this. He's, no, he's caught the timing. He's caught it. He's in the opportunity, the window of opportunity. There will be a flank available. Util, let's see that one. It needs to be thrown now. He does get it out. Calix. Oh, he's been run down. He's pushing the CT smoke. Woxic unchecked. He knows where Flit is, but you need your teammates to start hitting shots like that. Zantara's good for one, no, two. He takes down Norbert before the nade finds him. Flank, this is what we were talking about. Wakadi's coming in from behind. They box them in. Just live. Lock them out. Flit, no hope. Nothing for Flit here. He goes down and a sixth round is eternal fires. Madja is having a game and lovely work from Wakadia finding profit on the flank. Yeah, this B site is just under constant bombardment, isn't it? So just to be able to stall them out until the clock runs low, that's one success. The other is being able to deliver the frags. A great time to push from Wakadia a good rotation, and you see subverting the expectation, Flit pushing through the smoke to fight CT. Thought he had done enough to catch them off guard, but the Zantara's double. The yep. leader and his old star. Finding that second frag, Zantara's changed the whole dialogue. VP up against it. It's Six is good for the CT side of Inferno. And seven available. Oh look, this is a call. This is a page off of the VP strap book. Take a look at this one. But this it, worked early in the piece. It did. That was a gap. Not anymore, though. Look at the setup. Bacardi's acknowledged that's a possibility. Investigation. Runs dry. Flip. Could be naded down. Just Avoids missed. It. Okay. Calix. In the pit with the chickens. From James. Flip delays. He's talking a lot. James trying to coordinate the flashes to get them out towards apartments. Calix gets the nade in his hand just at the wrong time, but Wicardia, no, oh, nothing from Wicardia. Calix will build out. Gets one, a second is huge. Taking down fame. James rapping. Library coming, slips through the smoke ahead of Madja. Woxic's gonna be caught completely unawares. He can't believe it. How has this happened? Calix is having a round. The pit anchor strikes again. Strikes thrice. Flit, low HP, is this a quad kill from Calix? Head on a swivel, found by Flit. Good from Madja, awkward now in the 1v2, does not have their health, put to zero, seven for Eternal Fire. Give Calix a pay rise right there. That's exactly what you need from your pit anchor. It's not only the kills, but delaying that time, letting the clock tick down, forcing them close in towards that fight and not giving away the site for free. Impact to get the seventh for Eternal Fire and they are just one half of Counter-Strike away from making history.
a Turkish team in the top eight of a Counter-Strike major. It's a dream. It's been a dream for many a year. Bringing this, this band back together, putting their differences aside, not letting their differences divide them. Instead, they unite the most talented five from the region. Under the Eternal Fire name, founded with one goal in mind, and that was to put Turkey on the Counter-Strike map and to secure a top eight spot into the playoffs of Counter-Strike 2's first major. This is, uh, this is exactly what they set out to achieve. And Nadja just has to compose himself. They're up against VP. There is no free rounds up against Virtus Pro. You will have to fight tooth and nail to secure this. And now just starting to, like, this extra like 30 seconds is where the realization hits. It's within touching distance now. It is one half of Counter-Strike away from the realization of some dreams. And we've uh, been discussing different individuals, first time majors, debutants as they were, were currently one of those. He is the star that Turkey has been missing. Yeah, the he fifth is piece. the combo to go along with your Zantaras. It's the left, right, and the rest of them hoping for a good night. Celebrations as they would be locked in for the Royal Arena. It's Madja leading by example as well. Oh, the fact that he was in and out of this roster, the same to be said for the likes of Woxic. We're stopping. There was an issue. Uh, Woxic did disconnect. Ah, uh, okay. So this one... Looks like it will be called off. False start. Yeah, as yeah. we swap sides, Woxic disconnected. That's why we had a, a slower start into the pistol. And right now, it looks like we are still going to be fixing some of those issues. It was Zantara's to drop this time round. But that's all right. No damage was done. The pistol wasn't underway. No harm, no foul. Yeah. As, uh, we did have a bit of a game crash. Yeah, no information was given over as well. Yeah. It's not like you learn anything. No, that's the thing. Like, if you knew what the type of buy was or if they were starting aggressively, that could be slightly problematic. It's uh, not the case, and it gives everybody a moment to take stock. Oh, yeah, yeah. These are these these unpredictable factors that can play into your, your, your mental, just forced to uh, hang tight for a moment longer than anticipated. Well, uh, while we have you, there is still the B stream for today, the final day of the B stream. That's yeah. uh, being brought to you by Henry G and Anders Bloom. Uh, they're currently covering off an elimination series between Imperial and FaZe, which has also made it to the third and deciding map. You can go check that one out, twitch.tv slash PGO underscore CS2. You can also check uh, out all the action on TikTok, YouTube, Kick, Steam TV. You can get in the Go TV IP, sorry, CS IP. Now it's just CSTV, not yeah, Go no TV. No more Go anymore. Yeah, it's, it's changed a lot. There's a whole website named after the HLTV IPs. Uh, and then coming up later today on uh, the mainstream, Complexity versus Vitality, one of those two teams will be locking themselves in for the playoffs. Reigning major champs of Vitality going up against the Elige-led Complexity. Uh, Ecstatic, the Danish Hope, up against G2 in an elimination game on the secondary stream. And then as we flip-flop between the two, Cloud9 versus Na'Vi, Another progression game and Heroic versus Pain, another elimination game. Now, you mentioned Vitality and uh, something that of note was that uh, Eternal Fire met up with Vitality in the uh, Swiss stage round one. On this very map? On this very map. And what, uh, what was notable is that on the T side, which is where Eternal Fire started, they managed to find seven up against Vitality. Now, with a the half they've just posted, that would be more than enough. Yeah, well, using uh, some Counter-Strike maths, that would say that they should be... Could, oh, could be. Yeah, yeah, heading in the direction of a victory. But I'm sure James and his disciples have something to say about that. It's so crazy to go from the highest of highs, lifting the trophy in Rio, to then not even qualifying for Paris. And you tell me that's the like that is the first and only time that happens. Yes. Wow. With the asterisk. With the uh, yeah, but I prefer if we just if we don't have that. It's asterisk. easier to say it without the asterisk. Yeah, but then if I don't have yeah. it, Alex, then, then I, I don't can... think I'd be offering up the full context. No, that's a, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. But yeah, I mean, VP looking to return back to their their gloried major run and replicate something similar. Jane, a consistent presence outside of that. And Virtus Pro, the, the performance they put in on the first map of this series, it was so convincing. 10 T rounds on overpass, that's, you know, that's unheard of. That's unhinged. Mm. Well, uh, I'll let everybody know we have had uh, Graham Pitt's disciples give the double thumbs up. Yes, Should be uh, <laughs> ready to get this one back underway. That's one for the OGs out there. All five. Back in the server, 
for Eternal Fire. Match still paused, but I imagine momentarily we'll see that 20 seconds of freeze time starting to trickle down. <laughs> Spoke to the manager of Eternal Fire talking about uh, that theater and how it, it, it it's been full of fans every day watching. Oh, beautiful. The Eternal absolute Eternal scenes Fire. of that. I mean, yeah. That's what it's all about. It's so beautiful just to see the, the hopes of a nation riding on Eternal Fire and the support they have. Literally flying flags. Yeah, quite literally. I think the one to watch for me on this T side is going to be Wicardia. Madja and Zantares, sure. They've been putting in their shift. Woxic, you're gonna, you've got kind of a known quantity and what he's going to be able to deliver. Maybe going to be uh, struggling to find AWP impact, but we, the, man, the man can rifle. But it's Wicardia. Going to be looking for some impact from him on the gun rounds. The wildest thing for me about Woxic is, is one of the reasons that he didn't really stick it out when he had that Cloud9 international run was utility. Yes. And now in modern meta of Counter-Strike, the AWPer is a supportive element early in rounds and needs to be on point with utility. So for Woxic to get back in the game, had to learn something that was once upon a time not his strength. Well, now we're back in the game, Chad. Let's get situated. Let's get prepared for war, Jame. Going to be spotting out towards second mid. Didn't even bother, actually. Didn't even bother going for the jump spot. They've started four towards B. Flip with a full package. He's got smoke, incendiary, and kit. They want to keep it on B. And Eternal Fire, they're walking straight into the lion's den. Or the polar bear's den. Four of them here. Look at this. Everything's set up. I mentioned the gambles that Jame likes to take. All the premonitions. Regardless, yeah. this is a great stack. Smoke sail through. Eternal Fire walking into four of them. It's going to be one from Magic. Good find. Can't punish Fame on the way back in. But down goes Veer as well. Have they really pulled this off? It's Wicardia with two. Into the stack site and still reigning supreme. That is a nice start for Eternal Fire. That is... Gonna really throw Vertus Pro through a loop. Where have they gone? <laughs> two dark, two new box doubling up, ensuring that this one goes their way. Flit onto Kalix. He might overlook the second towards the new box position. Who plays next? It's the one towards dark. Zintaris has taken down Jame. And Flit, nothing here for him. Yeah, looking to see if he can hold on to this defuse kit. That's about it. Well, that's going to be four out of the six pistols available as Flit has to fight for his life. Eternal Fire will secure eight, and that is going to feel damn good. You just you just walked into the stacked site. Well, they brought more than enough artillery with them, didn't they? Molly smokes, smoke. flashes, everything. It was a full execute. May as well look like a gun round. Let's see this again. So it's Fame that gets this necessary equalizing frag. Then Wicardius the one to find him. Just the last couple of bullets in his Glock. And then an immediate adoption of this kind of two-man setup, new box and dark. And yeah, that is going to feel a whole lot better for Eternal Fire than it does VP. Nine looms. Uh, now you have to look at the way forward for Virtus Pro. It's a full eco. They have one smoke in the hands of Flit. They will be bringing out the guns into the next. And we might see more of the craziness, more of the <laughs> stacks. And here is a stack for you. You can try this one at home. Three players on the long side, different elevations. The tank has been assembled. And Zantaras, if he waltzes around that corner, I don't like his chances. Yeah, he's gotten the info that there's at least three. His AK lies idle. Retrieved as well. Wopsy, he didn't want to take too many risks with the bomb on his back. They are going to actually go into A. I like this. Through short. BP's options no longer present. Yeah, just protect that AK-47 if you're fame. The bomb will be going down momentarily. Woxie just being diligent not to give over his life. Digits punched, 40 seconds thrust onto the clock now. Do you send Madger in just to see if he could maybe do some uh, damage, secure a bit of extra cash? Well, he is having a look. Flit, first challenge, does Madger clear it? Doesn't look like it, does it? Oh, yes, indeed. Down he goes. But as we said, protect the VIP. It's only fame he's looking for. 600 bucks is 600 bucks, but... Here comes the second Mac 10 And they are getting closer. 
Fame, that AK-47. Give it to me. Manja takes it away. Jane down two. He'll take it all. All of the kills with the SMG and the AK to boot. Yes, please. Beautiful work there from Manja, clearing all these corners. Leaping into action and removing the one bullet headshot potential. Going into the next. Well, it was always going to be the Virtus Pro purchase. Silenced M4s across the board. The util they desire. And a 3-2 split of the defense with the B bomb site being the preference out the gate. Is it just about utility donation? Yes. So nades left over. His nades hit the feet of Wakadia. His banana control stalled out for now. Zataras. Once he can establish this top banana control, we know he loves to take the fights. Flip will need to be on high alert for this B defense. He's on the safest jiggle though. It's only the forearm visible. But forcing out the smoke, and that's key. This top banana pressure, you want to make these CTs rifle through their utility as quickly as possible. Fame joins him on the site. Has a smoke for good measure. But they're lining up with their smokes now, Chad, with the smoke still up. Well, they're going to go? have to extinguish. Second smoke, but your back is turned. Oh, and Madja again! Madja in pursuit of playoffs, having a performance unlike anything we've seen. 17. <laughs> Kalik threw the smoke onto Flit. Eternal Fire have taken the B site. I am in disbelief at how convincing this has been from Madja. For a moment there, I thought Wakadia had just given Virtus Pro way back in on a 4 on 4, pushing through the CT smoke and offering up his life, but Kalix as a spam back of his own. <laughs> Double digits for Eternal Fire. Three rounds away from Turkey at the top eight of a major. Starting as they mean to go on in CS2. It's Led out. by major. Yeah, bro. How cool. How cool. He's been at this for such a long time. He's got an interview with HLTV. Talks about financial troubles after his kid and getting married. Having to sell his skins. And now his name is in the game. Those stickers are there and the top eight at the major. It's right there for the taking. And an entry frag. They clear the smoke. Running through it, executing blind into B and converting. They've been positively rewarded now. Like, they, in terms of conditioning, every time they've wanted B, they've taken it from VP. 33 years of age. A barrage of nades puts him on. Just 14 points of health, hanging on by a nerve. Manja, the entry fragger, finds himself at the forefront of the pack once again. Think about his impact on Vertigo. It shocked VP. It did. It changed the outcome of the map. Undoubtedly. Oh, well, they're respecting the top and out of control U2. But look at him. Brothers in arms. All five in banana for now. Boosted up half wall, Zantara's keeps vision and keeps control. Are they really going to go for another B execute? It would be advised. It's Take a look at the CT setup. Four players gambling towards A. I told you James loves to go for these. And look, I don't want to call them ill-informed. I don't think they're ill-informed, but he likes to gamble. Like This is where James is playing the next level mind games. As Fame calls for aid, Util donated, has a smoke and a molly, but essentially has to defend B on his lonesome. James playing for info. Makes noise. Kalix hears this. He'll start to maneuver up to B. Fame, so much pressure on him. Jane will clear out Kalix. That's a big frag for posted they have by to the go IGL. B now. Nate clears him out. Nice oh! work. It's Fame. Holds on with the double. The one sole defender on B, and he's done enough to repel. I think they're saving. If they wanted to go A, they'd have to be holding a W key. So right now, they're worried about Jane having the flank covered. He's rotated full around the world. And that's the in-game leader on the other side with a heads-up maneuver. That nade came from the A site. He used that, made a sound cue, cleared out mid and kept searching for info. Into Boiler, dealing with the lackey of Kalix, the one to hold the round together, allow them to potentially rotate back. But Fame, the weight of the world on his shoulders and he steps up with a double kill. Massive. Undeniably.
Oh, third tactical timeout. This is where the pressure for Eternal Fire, just like we can see how close they're getting towards that finish line, they know it too. And to achieve something that you've never done before for your region with the rookie of Wakadia in the server up against a coach that knows what it takes to win a major and four players who have been there, done that. This is going to be a tough close. Four round difference. Yeah, James openly talked about how exhausting it is to win a major in the sense that you do, you have to be playing your A game every game for the whole route. You can't be having off games. And uh, Eternal Fire, they have to stomach that one. A, a humbling loss, the fourth round of play. Got every bell and whistle they desire to come into this one. Round 17, off the back of a timeout. VP start 3B. Is it just for nades? It's just for nades. I made that mistake again. It's Mir just dropping him off. Top banana flashed and cleared. Flit, nade on logs. Tares will take a lot of damage. The importance of a round like this, if Eternal Fire can pick this up and remove the lion's share of these rifles. VP are in hot water with the buy. I know they seem to make miracles happen. Not sure what Centaurus saw, but the shots indicate the boost was in play. VP aware of that third man, Mir, starting to make his way over towards the B site as well. That cache of util still available to block. Wakadia, this time with mid space. If Jane wants to go for an info play, this is going to be a much tougher way to break through. Isn't such a passive bracket start. Rotate a player like Mir, he's just getting info both ways. It's tough for him as the Moto Smoke lines up. Flash forward, Jane calling mid clear. Just as we kind of threw his util out as well. Very high stakes, 20 seconds. They're pushing through. They have found fame. Madger though, he's trying to plant. Covered by Wogstick. It could have gone wrong. It doesn't. Instead, the bomb will go down. And VP have a decision to make. Do you give them 11? Or will they take everything away from you from behind? Wakadi has pipped the gap. Mir not looking. Jame as well on the dinner menu. This would be huge if he could take away these two rifles. This would be massive. He's in the right spot. Ready for it. Wakadi strikes. Jame committed as well. Tucked in on the ruins. An 11th round secure, but keeping hold of these rifles is the new priority. They're worried about him. They're coming for the clear. He has to exit. He's going to go down with the bomb. He takes Calix. Sure, the Taras will finish him off. No rifle for you. Oh, Virtus Pro are in jeopardy now. Into B. Fame bullied by Eternal Fire. Off the timeout. After a failing on that very site, they come back for it, collect it. And even a gap found by Wakadia for the punish. Mir, no rifle for you. He's going to be dropped one and working it out. Yeah, Fame could operate right now with an MP9 or a Famas. He's gone Oof. for the MP9, so they're just making this one work. But you think about it, if they save those three guns again, it would have been everything they wanted and more. Right now, it still looks pretty damn good, but imagine how flush they would be if they kept three alive. A different look. A different look. The call's been made by Magia. And they send their sharpest tool in Zantares. Oh, Madge has been great in the openings, Alex. He's been involved in seven opening duels. He's won five of them. Outrageous. The impact. He's at the top of the scoreboard. The leader stepping up. Oh. This is an opportunity for Jane. No clear, no clear. Lazy from Zantares. And Jane punishes with a triple kill. So comfortable. Burnt down short. But that's got to secure. At least a seventh, right? Wakadia audibly retrieving the bomb, so using that smoke to great success. Kalix trying to find an opportunity into the A site. But they have to worry about B. VP have to drop at least one back. So it's a two on two here. Norbert. Oh no, Norbert's down empty handed, and with Kalix opening up the site, a smoke moto, Wakadia is a little concerned about Mir. He's not rushing this. This is great from the rookie. He has a frag on his way. It's being delivered on a silver plate. Mir down. 
Only fame. A 12th. Hanging in the balance of a one versus two clutch. The B anchor. Smoke's gonna fade. Cardia. Planting in the corner. You can suspect it's gonna be a pit player. Ooh, Acardia gets the info, gets away with his life. Fame missed his shot. So he missed his opportunity. After Jame finding a triple double kill, swing. the double swing is Ricardia holding his nerve in a must win round. I can't believe he didn't just join Kalix on the site. Right, the fact that he stays boiler and Mir goes searching, Ricardia poised. I swear that's something that, that that is a round to be proud of from Ricardia. After the way it started, he's the one to retrieve the bomb safely, he's the one to not rush into the site. Think it on his toes, and this is great from Kalix. It breaks open the site. Wakadia not rushing, aware of the situation, and then the fact that he's calling the mollies there, the double swing, walks it out of his chair, just one more round, VP, the buy is broken. To do what no one has done before from their regions, and Tarez has found an opening. Flit tried his luck at something aggressive. He's been punished, four frags away from Eternal Fire making history for Turkey. The 19th round, our last. Centaurus has given them a way in. You see they're under pressure. Using everything in the kitchen sink to keep themselves alive towards the bottom of Banana. Another James stack, this time three towards B. Just one of Norbert over towards the A site. A minute on the clock. How does Magic call them into the finish? 19 kills for the leader. Been doing this for an awfully long time. Tara is spotted out on the jiggle. Not looking to block. The fight's going to keep coming their way. It's mad to the entry fragger. Now he's now trying to have a little look ahead of the smoke. Fame. He'll drive by on the MP9. 30 seconds, though. Well, this is masterful. The fact they are searching over towards A, there's still a chance to drop back. There's still an opportunity. Kalix needs to start making a move. And now. And he's doing so. Trying to sell it. The fact that there's two of them here. It won't draw the rotation. It's too late for that. Zatares down to James. He's in the right spot, but they need the headshot. It's Madger and Woxic. They've cleared it out. Maybe overlooking Mir. Maybe overlooking Mir. One hell of a double kill. Extends the round. Extends play. There's nothing here for Eternal Fire. Unless they could find Mir. Three seconds. Two seconds. One. Connects. Oh, oh there was a chance. But Mir extends play. A miraculous triple kill. He's been quiet all game long, but Virtus Pro have been given another chance at life. And that is a Virtus Pro classic. Go back and watch their games. Mia, this time the hero. They've done that before with Flit. <laughs> that sleeper agent in the back of the site. New box to deliver around victory and keep them alive. Oh my God, Kalex, he actually got there in time. I couldn't believe how close he was. He was he at the end of holes in about 22 seconds. I can't believe it. Wakadi oh. are AK. The rest, Glocks are Deagle for Kalix. So Wakadia staying alive in the previous gets to bring them a rifle through. I thought they were going to search A with the uh, ability to seesaw back, but it was a fake A. Faking out JM, he sticks to his guns, too, literally. Yeah, too late for a fake in that sense because you've already got your boots planted on B. Well, you need some damage now with this saved AK. You can see right now, Virtus Pro, Famous, MP9s, still doing it tough as Wakadia announces his presence up short, applying a lot of pressure, the jump spot. Every trick in the book from Norbert now, just to retain information and space. Now he lobs out some util. The molly, perfect. Wakadia has to go wide. So committed, he's gonna surely get run down. Still hits the headshot, takes down Norbert, James to trade. Can't get the gun back. They swing through, he spots a lot of bodies there towards short. Another incendiary from Mir. At least the AK has been recovered by Zintares. If they cut noise, it might force those rotates back. Yeah, and Matt just going to try and sell this. In an ideal world, Flit joins the B defender. If the AK was looking. Oh, Shadow. Opportunity. And a headshot. Kalix's Deeg has done something dirty. Now Mir could be overrun here. If they find him, it's awkward. And they have Zintares with the frag. Eternal fire with one rifle, and now Madja cowering. Flitz found Kalix, but they're going to overlook this. It's only a Glock, though. It's not the weapon. It's not the weapon. Still finds fame.
same. It's Flit up against it. Where's the bomb? Need to get it down. Nine seconds. Zentaris to plant. Magic doesn't have a weapon to cover, but they're getting the bomb down. Eternal Fire. Is this really the final round? Is this really playoffs? Is this really history for Turkey? Yes, it is! Eternal Fire! Top 8 in Copenhagen! A beautiful three-map affair, and look what it means to them. The expression of emotion, the 20th Counter-Strike Major, and Turkey are in the top eight. Finally, they have made it.